One of my favorite film simulations is the unsuspecting Pro Neg High. And I've been wanting to create something similar for Canon cameras now for quite a while. Proneg is super versatile. It can be a lot of things depending on the light you're working with or how you expose. I prefer to slightly underexpose this film simulation, but that's the look that I'm going for. And according to Fujifilm, Proneg standard is kind of based on the Fujifilm Pro 160NS, kind of a close competitor to Kodak Portra. Proneg High offers a slightly harder tonal range compared to the standard. It can be soft and slightly desaturated, but it can also be contrasty and crunchy, making it a great street photographer simulation or for traveling architecture but also for things like portraits if you're dealing with uncontrolled lighting. And I absolutely love how this film simulation renders all types of greenery. These are shots from Stefan de Muzio, who was kind enough to test these out. He's a much, much better photographer than I am. And I think he did a great job of kind of showcasing that softer, more dreamy, retro look, but also bringing in some of that slightly crunchier look. So if you want to see some great shots done with this and other film simulations that I've released, I think you should check out his Instagram. Compared to the Pro Neg High on my Fujifilm X-T4, I think I did a pretty good job at capturing the character of the Pro Neg High. I've taken some artistic license when it comes to things like blue, since I have this slight preference towards these more powdery blue colored skies. If you've used my previous film simulations, then you, you kind of know what I'm talking about here when it comes to blues and, and all that fun stuff. The pack contains Pro Neg or Pro Ne High, as well as the standard version, along with a little bonus version that I decided to include for you. And as always, when there's more than just one file, there will be a, a compressed file that you download just to make everything a bit more easy for you to make sure you get all the, the pieces and everything. So you will have to use WinRAR if you're on PC or on Archiver if you're on Mac to extract the files before you can get them on your camera. Now, if you need more help with this, I'm gonna leave a link to my kind of walkthrough guide up here on the end screen at the end of this video, and that will take you through the entire process, whether you're on Mac or PC. So yeah, that's pretty much it. There will be a download link in the description of this video. I hope you have a blast exploring and experimenting with this new film simulation. It's certainly one of my favorites. So. Thank you for watching.